Hello dear fans and, uh, fans and subscribers, unfortunately I, I uploaded my YouTube but we had a lot of problems uh, and I was actually trying to give you a full report but unfortunately uh, it has conked off and once again I am back here uh, with my second YouTube broadcast because the first one, the upload was aborted. So again I am coming back but this time it is going to be a quick one because uh, time is a constraint unfortunately. So right now I'm talking about the 4th one day international which is being played between England and Australia and as, as you know this this particular match the 4th one day international uh, is important for both the teams. Just talking about this game Australia were the ones who won the toss and made 299 for 7. Uh, well as far as doing this match summary is concerned in fact Willy, David Willy was the one who actually rocked Australia hard because even though Australia had the early initiative of winning the toss and acting to bat, they were rocked hard by David Willey's swing bowling. As first he made uh, uh, Joe Burns actually chop onto the stumps, he was gone. After that, uh, he angled a delivery across the arrow and fence, who actually edged it to the wicketkeeper, Matthew, uh, uh, wicketkeeper Jonathan Barstow. Uh, and then we had Stephen Smith LBW and Australia were reduced to 30 for 3. But then a 137 run partnership between the aggressive Glenn Maxwell and a very quiet George Bailey ensued, uh, slowly ensuring that Australia, England, Australia would slowly get out of jail and that's what they precisely did as the partnership uh, put on 137 valuable runs with, um, um, with uh, Glenn Maxwell contributing 85. In fact, he reached his 50 uh, with a real um, a thudding shot into the stands of the bowling of Adil Rashid. Bailey, as I said, was a more sedate partner. He was biding his time at the crease. He was really giving all the support that Glenn Maxwell needed as Glenn Maxwell continued his aggression. As Glenn Maxwell contributed 85 runs uh, to his name. In fact, Glenn Maxwell made uh, 85 of 64 balls with 10 fours and 2 sixes. Bailey making a quite 75, 110 balls with 6 fours. Uh, and then uh, it was, and then Australia after losing their wickets, in fact, the score became 215 uh, at one stage in the 42nd over. But then there was a real blast in the end uh, from the uh, from Matthew Wade, uh, who contributed uh, an aggressive 50 of 26 balls, three fours and three sixes. Uh, and then John Hastings joining in the fun with an unbeaten 34 of 26 balls, three fours and two sixes. Thus putting on an 84-run unbroken partnership for the 8th wicket to take Australia to a very good score of 299 for 7 of their 50 overs. Uh, while I'm talking to you, I'm just giving you this particular update here from the Leeds Cricket Ground. England currently are placed at 123 for 3. The bowling Willy 3 for 51 who rocked Australia hard in the initial stages. Mark Wood, the costly 9 overs taken for 65, Plunkett 247, Stokes none for 25, Rashid 10 overs none for 63, taken to the cleaners today, 10 overs no in 2 for 40 for Moeen Ali. England, uh, England started off uh, not in good fashion at all as they lost the um, locks Alex Sales, LBW Cummins uh, for, um, uh, for not, uh, and after that Jason Roy and James Taylor sparkled in unison as both of them started um, started hitting stroke after stroke and both started matching each other stroke after stroke but then finally this inning started galloping from one for one the score reached 73 with Jason Roy contributing 36 of 33 balls with seven sparkling boundaries and then Jason Roy was a victim of Cummings. After that James Taylor who was also doing a marvelous job of playing cracking shots all around the wicket uh, finally succumbed to the super late catch by Matthew Wade behind the stumps as um, actually what um, um, uh, James Taylor was doing was trying to come into the line of the ball and trying to flick it away down the leg side but what a super late take in fact he actually had flicked it fine but it was a super late catch by Matthew Wade down the leg side flinging himself full length and picking and picking up the ball inches off the ground a super late catch taken by Matthew Wade behind the stumps as they saw the back of James Taylor who contributed an, um, an attractive 41 of 8 fours of 42 deliveries while I'm talking to you the England innings now as I'm going to leave you on this cricket update here on YouTube your Morgan not at 33 the captain is looking good of 47 balls two fours of once Ben Stokes is giving him company not out on 11 well dear fan subscribers as I said 
The first upload was a detailed upload, I talked in detail, but unfortunately I got conked out and now I am left a short of time here. So that's the reason it is a short uh, uh, short uh, cricket update broadcast here on this cricket happening show. So tomorrow uh, I'll definitely be talking about this match uh, between Australia and England. Uh, and uh, looking at the current situation uh, as to how it is, 129 for 3, so that means England require under 171 runs with 7 wickets intact. They are to score at a rate of 6.57 in the next 26 overs. If they do so, England will level the series. If not, Australia will be taking the series. But I will be talking about this game tomorrow on my late night cricket broadcast. As you all know, dear friends, subscribers, on Saturday. Till such time, I come on to the late night broadcast. It's a big goodbye from your host Ram Studios. Thank you.